Simon always wanted a home among the gum trees. But not this giant. Falling branches have damaged his home and car. He's worried someone will be killed. But council is standing tall. On a day like this, all you want to do is crack open a coley and sit under an old gum tree. She's a bit hot, mate. Do you want to go under the tree? Nah, mate. Not bloody likely. Just not this one. Simon's scared of this tree, but in fairness, it's one monster gum. It's pretty big. It is big, mate. It is. It's a danger to me, my family, my property and the general public. It should be taken down and the sooner the better. The tree might look harmless, but Simon's bank book and his insurance premiums suggest otherwise. Its branches have crashed into his roof five times. It's written off two of his cars and it's almost killed him and his dog. This, Simon says, the tree has outstayed its welcome at the front of his home on the New South Wales Central Coast. And that's the heart of the problem. The trees on council land. This tree's been haunting you for 14 years. That and the council. Cheers. We're here for the 14th anniversary of Australia's great tree fight. You've asked them to cut it down. Yeah, I have. And what have they said to you? No, it's their tree and it stays. The tree is healthy. No one questions that. But is it safe? It seems not even the local dogs are game to go near it. <coughs> you could have parked in the shade under the tree. Neighbour Annie's also had enough. This tree's been a problem, yeah, for many, many years. How many people walk up and down this Oh, path? there's people constantly all day, every day, elderly, um, school children. The problem is for the kids, um, it's, it's a narrow road anyway. It sounds like a case of touch wood. Just don't get close enough to touch this tree. I think it's one of those situations where council's waiting for something to happen before they do anything about it. Council's land, council's tree. I therefore advise that the council has no liability for your damage. What do you think of that? Oh, it's disgraceful. It's not the first time Central Coast Council's had a problem with a tree. Usually, though, it's the money tree. <laughs> The council has got sacked in 2020 over an $89 million black hole. Knowing council's a bit, well, rooted, Simon extended an olive branch. So you're happy to pay for it to be removed? Yes. How much is that going to cost you? About four grand. He'll pay and he'll even replant. I've offered to replace that with people, property friendly, native trees. Surely we've found green peace. But it turns out we still need more eucalyptus oil to soothe this problem. Council says it won't be getting off that Trojan horse and it won't be chopping down that tree. And so it continues. Stuck with his old gum tree. No wonder he needed a drink. Oh, just let me do it. Let me do it. Council's now trimmed the tree, but really, though, is that enough?